Right, so what we've done is we've incorporated into it a bit of code. I'm going to show you because I've actually modified it beyond that. But I've incorporated a bit of code. Uh, I don't know, I suppose it's okay. See, what we've done is this is our original uh, loop indexer for mapping sensors to it. But we've put in before it, you might not be able to read it, but we've put in before it a delay loop which detects if we've got a sensor change. So it looks to see if the sensors have changed. If it hasn't, it just sits there and waits. And if it has changed, we then read uh, the um, analog input, excuse me, and we insert a space, right? And then we then wait for a preset delay depending on the, uh, in this case, just the space, which is the first pot, right? Then we do our mark and then we come around again and wait, right? And it waits for a sensor change. In other words, it waits for it to move before it actually does another space followed by mark. And that's what we've got. Now what we've got, <coughs> what we've got is, um, so this is it. And as you can see, look, I can turn the pot and it varies the speed. And not only that, you get a sound from it, which is quite interesting. Because obviously it's using the full torque pulse until it's moved on. You see, and so it's trying to detect if it's moved on. Now it kind of kicks around a little bit when it's on low speed. And what I might do is I might also incorporate a mark control so you can actually set it so that at low speeds it actually does a standard sort of PWM rather than it kicking like that. It should make it more stable at low speeds. But at high speeds, no problem. You can hear it being a bit rough. But listen to it when you accelerate it. See what I'm doing with the pot. Pull it a bit further back. You see? And there's this weird artifact here where I might tune the mark to do this. I think you have to tune it to the system. So if I bring it down slowly, then it, it's what it's doing is it is it syncing the phases with the brushless things with the uh, hall effects, and that's the minimum space. It's maximum space, and there's virtually nothing. You can see that the LED, sometimes it kicks on and sometimes it doesn't. There you go, see? Right. And if I turn it up, let's watch the LED. 